Today, we'll explore three key media platforms in the development communication, publishing, radio, and television. To effectively choose the right platform, it's crucial to understand their unique strengths and limitations. I'm Dennis Maliwanag, and I will guide you through this discussion of the advantages and limitations of certain media. Drawing insights from Module 1, Part 4 of the textbook, Production of Print and Radio Development Communication Materials. Let's begin this presentation. In development communication, publications are written or printed materials designed to share information and messages for positive societal change. They come in various forms like brochures, reports, and newsletters aiming to inform and engage communities in development efforts. What are the advantages of a publication? Convenience. Printed materials offer the convenience of reading and studying at your own pace. There's no rush, no pressure to consume them immediately. At the same time, publications can easily be shared, creating what social scientists call pass on readership. In 2014, the Philippine Daily Inquirer had a pass on readership of five times its daily circulation of 350,000. Credibility. Print materials have a long history in stealing confidence in readers. The printed page is often seen as a trustworthy source of information. Now let's look into the disadvantages of using publications. In terms of accessibility, print materials may not be suitable for those with limited education or low level of literacy. At the same time, some print materials offer content intended for a wide audience. This may not align with local conditions, reducing their effectiveness in specific contexts. Print media also lacks interactivity. They offer minimal audience feedback and interaction. Publications need frequent updates. Their production process can be time consuming. Information may become outdated before it even reaches print. Now let's discover the enduring relevance of print media through insights from an experienced journalist. Introducing Juliet Labog Haveliana, the associate publisher of the Philippine Daily Inquirer, who will share her valuable insights in the world of publishing. Print media stands as the guardian of depth and detail. In an age of fleeting news, it delves deep, offering narrative richness and diverse voices. Recognizes the first draft of history. Its archival value paints a nation's tapestry for future generations. The power of a front page emphasizes issues of consequence encouraging informed public discourse. Our next topic will explore the significant role of radio as a powerful medium in development communication. At the same time, we will look into its limit limitations. In terms of advantages, radio is an influential medium and maths in its ability to reach a larger audience more rapidly. It has a unique power, especially in rural areas, regardless of educational backgrounds. Radio's portability and accessibility make it a valuable companion. It can be carried anywhere, and it is relatively inexpensive. In fact, you can buy a battery-operated transistor radio for just a few hundred bucks. For those with busy lives, radio allows multitasking. You can continue with your work while listening. These are the reasons why radio remains the most popular medium in rural regions. According to the Kantar Media Habits survey in 2018, 52% of Filipinos tuned in to the radio at least once in the past seven days, with the average listener dedicating 2.5 hours daily to radio. 
disadvantages. Access to broadcast facilities can be challenging in certain areas, and this limits radio's reach and accessibility. Music programs, showbiz talk shows, and radio dramas often take precedence over informative or educational content. Impact. Many, many radio stations do not conduct listenership studies to gauge the impact of their programming on the intended audience. This makes it difficult to measure effectiveness. Due to the transient nature of radio messages, listeners have limited opportunities to fact check. This can lead to miscommunication, especially on controversial topics. Radio holds significant importance for this broadcast journalist who began his career as a radio reporter for Radio Veritas and Radio Inquirer before embarking on the journey to summer to establish his own race station. Meet uh, Ricky Brosas, the station manager and owner of 92.1 Infinite Radio Calbayog, as he shares his unique perspective on the world of radio broadcasting. Radio offers instant access to information, free of charge, reaching a broad audience. In many areas of the country, you'll witness fierce competition among radio stations. Sa radyo, bawat balita ay laging bago. Sa katunayan, dito nagmula ang konsepto na bawal magbalita ng bahaw o luma. Kaya radyo ang tunay na kaagapay sa pagbabalita. Now, we'll dive into the world of television and video. Two platforms that have revolutionized how we consume content. In this session, we will explore the numerous advantages and some disadvantages of this visual media. Advantages. Television provides a personal connection. It offers an experience closest to face-to-face -face discussion. It draws viewers into a world of visual storytelling. In terms of rates, TV has the incredible capacity to simultaneously reach diverse audiences in different locations. Meanwhile, the visual nature of television enhances comprehension and retention. Videos can simplify complex processes breaking them down into easy-to-follow sequences. A 2016 survey by Nielsen showed there were more than 400 TV stations nationwide, 23 of which could be found in Metro Manila. And although declining, a 2022 Reuters Institute study found that TV news continued to reach 60% of the audience in the Philippines. Disadvantages. Television and video production demand significant financial investments. Equipment and production costs remain high. Another downside of TV and video is that in many cases, they are inaccessible in rural areas. That limits their reach and impact. Also, despite their educational potential, TV and video often prioritize entertainment content. Engaging films, teleserie, variety TV shows, they often take precedence over educational and development programs. Our final feature journalist is an online editor at Inquire.net with extensive experience in broadcast media. She held various roles from reporter and anchor to executive producer at ABC5, RPN9, and ABS-CBN News Channel. Presenting Arlen Lim, former TV news executive producer at ABS-CBN News Channel, who will share her insights on the importance of television in today's communication landscape. Television wields formidable influence with broadcast journalism serving not only as a conduit for communication, but as a guiding force in shaping society. For many Filipinos, 
free TV remains their primary source of both news and entertainment. The cherished tradition of tuning into evening broadcasts has evolved into a unifying ritual for households nationwide. Now, to sum up our discussion on various media platforms, here are the main points to remember. Publications provide convenience and credibility. However, they may not be the best fit for those with limited education and necessitate regular updates. TV and video, while offering personal resonance and visual clarity, come with higher costs. They are also less prevalent in rural areas. Radio remains influential and widely accessible, yet, it tends to focus on entertainment, lacks mechanism for impact assessment, and faces challenges in fact-checking. Shifting our focus to the rural Philippines, the urgency for development is apparent. A significant portion of these communities, including farmers and fisher folk, grapple with poverty. Based on the 2021 figures from the Philippine Statistics Office, fisher folk and farmers encountered high poverty incidence rates of 30.6% and 30% respectively. And while the Philippines boasts a commendable 95% electricity access rate as of 2019, the economic challenges in these rural areas make owning a television a luxury many still cannot afford. This leads to a heavy reliance of people in the countryside on radio as principal source of information and entertainment. Considering the slow pace at which progress reaches rural communities in the Philippines, it is unlikely that this situation will improve anytime soon. With that final point, I bring my presentation to a close. Thank you for your time and attention.